Do you know your co-pilot from your co-pilot from your co-pilot from your co-pilot? That's right, there are at least four co-pilots. I might even go into five uh, in this video. It's a little bit confusing out there with Microsoft using the same name for multiple different products for different entry points and different price models as well. So in this video, we're gonna go over each of those so you have a better understanding know what's personal, what's secure from a data protection kind of point of view, and also what costs a bit of money. So let's get started. The name changes have been confusing. We've had Bing Chat, Bing Chat Enterprise. We've got the ability to chat with our data with a co-pilot for Microsoft 365 license. And now we've got a new product as well. That's why actually this is the second time I've recorded this video, because we now have Copilot Pro where they sit from an identity point of view, an organizational kind of side of things, where data protection is so in key to many CISOs and heads of IT. It's really important that we know the difference and some of those expectations that we should see inside of the product. So let me show you one of those two things that I've kind of broken out with some of this content. So as I said, we've got four, but these are kind of ways we can actually break this down and these are actually visually seen in some of the products as well. So we've got Copilot. This is kind of this individual product where I log in with a, a personal account rather than an organization account. I can't actually log into Copilot with an organization account because that actually automatically forwards me to the Copilot web edition. So you can kind of see there that these things are broken down with logging in with a Microsoft account and also logging in with that Microsoft Entra Azure AD account which means that you get all sorts of different protection rights, things that align to maybe your country's data sovereignty agreement with uh, Microsoft, GDPR, whatever it may well be. So they kind of kit in when you're actually within that organization and identity when you log in. So you can kind of see actually how these are now broken down into two. If you're interested in that individual side of things, you've got Copilot. This is your chat GPT for your Dali 3, the ability to be able to go in there, log in with your Microsoft account and ask questions, pro put prompts in, get responses. This data is kind of saved by Microsoft. They're using this data to train things the same way that happens with ChatGPT, with Claude 2 and different AI kind of models. Copilot Pro was announced just a few days ago and this brings in some of those automation that you can go into Word, into Excel, can you create me a presentation all about Microsoft Copilot? And it will go off and build a whole bunch of slides for you, that kind of thing. Copilot Web. This is what was formerly known as Bing Chat Enterprise. The ability to be able to use that kind of DALI 3, the ability to be able to say, can you tell me what's going on in the news today? And it goes off, uses the Bing Index and actually brings back a response based on just what it sees on the web. It doesn't look at what's going on inside of the cloud. What we then have is also this co-pilot for Microsoft 365. This is where we can start chatting to our corporate data, our data that's inside of the Microsoft graph that you individually have permission to be able to see. You also get the automation as well inside of the Microsoft products like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, like I was just sharing about from a co-pilot pro point of view. What we have, as I saying, these are some of the names that we've previously had. Copilot was previously named Bing Chat. Copilot Web was previously called Bing Chat Enterprise, where you could log in with that work account. We've now got this Copilot Pro, and this is a new product. Copilot for Microsoft 365 technically had another name. It was called Microsoft 365 Copilot, but not really much of a difference between those. As I was mentioning, Copilot Pro has now actually been made available to us. This is this new product, as it says there. Still, it's your everyday AI companion, but this is inside the Office applications. And you have some extensibility options. But if you're kind of buying and you are personally paying for Office for your machine at home, maybe you're paying it for your kids through a family account, this is where you can now have that wonderful AI automation within Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote to be able to go off and use those and help you to build content and analyze content should you want to be able to do so. What I've also done here is kind of built a bit more of a bigger set of templates and tables out for around what these products do. 
And as you can kind of see there, I've kept the identity in there so you can still see that you're logging with this Microsoft account, that personal account, like your Xbox, your Outlook account, your Hotmail account that's there. And then you've got your Microsoft Entra, which is that corporate account built on top of, it's now called Microsoft Entra, but previously called Azure Active Directory. Uh, but that's where you can control it and you own it by as an organization. There's a cost to some of these. Copilot, when you're logging in with a Microsoft account, is free. You can log in now, you can go and create a new Microsoft account should you want to be able to do so. And you can take full advantage of AI, DALI 3, ask it to create images. Those personal accounts, if you want to start using it inside the Office applications, that's where it comes. It comes at $20, pounds, $20 sorry, per user per month. Looking into that organizational kind of side of things, many organizations are already using that Copilot Web, formerly known as Bing Chat Enterprise, because it becomes as part of their Microsoft 365 account. You can also buy this, or you soon will be able to buy this as an individual SKU, should you want to be able to take advantage of that. If you want to get into that Copilot for Microsoft 365, that automation, and also be able to talk to your data, you can do so for about $30 per user per month. Extensibility, you can't extend it on the free version and you can start taking advantage of the GPTs. That are, These are like little modules, little add-ons that you can have as part of ChatGPT, but you're going to have to do these inside of your Copilot Pro license. You don't get any kind of extensibility with Copilot Web, that Bing Chat Enterprise, but you have the whole Microsoft Copilot Studio from a whole enterprise, this ability to be able to hook up all sorts of different low code to full development products inside of your conversation with your data. So I'm not now just chatting about the data I see within my Microsoft 365 tenancy and the office products, but actually any other product that I actually could potentially connect to. That could be anything with an API. So huge opportunities. And I think it's important to point out here, a big thing between the personal and the enterprise that enterprise scale data protection kicks in as part of a few things around that organizational side. There's a big agreement online. I'll leave the uh, a link to what Microsoft are saying around that organization and how they protect that data in the description below, should you want to be able to go and read that or if you need to send that off to any kind of legal people. Just as a few extra features here to break down where you can see where actually where can I do stuff within the products? When you're paying for Copilot Pro and you've got that Copilot from Microsoft 365, this is where I mentioned earlier on where you can have it to help you formulate emails, build out all sorts of content, ask it to build you a business plan based on these particular criteria, ask it to put budget in there, and you can have that all put into Word. Within seconds, it's giving you two, three pages worth of content that you can then use and go and edit further. Analyze content in spreadsheets and ask it to analyze and make some predictions in the future. Create power, engaging PowerPoint presentations with content just by saying, can you create me a PowerPoint presentation for a seven-year-old all about the Roman history? And it goes off and it puts those images in there and puts the text and builds those images out. You can also ask it to summarize those PowerPoints. So instead of having to read 30 pages worth of slides, you can get a nice little executive summary down the side. And it's also in OneNote as well from that note-taking point of view. Where actually Copilot for Microsoft 365 starts to get additional things from that organizational kind of side of things is you get it for Teams as well, helping you to be able to analyze and ask it to give you minutes and uh, gender items. What did this person's view on the meeting? We had a creative meeting with a marketing team. Can you tell me the top five marketing ideas uh, that came from this meeting? That's where that kind of Copilot for Teams sits in as part of that Copilot for Microsoft 365. And then we've got to talk about a bit more around this extensibility as well. We can ground that data further inside of Copilot for Microsoft 365 when we're chatting to the data that you individually have permission to see inside of the Microsoft Graph and part of that extensibility as well. So I hope you found this useful. There are potentially a fifth one when you're inside of the Copilot Studio. You want to start talking to that data across your Microsoft 365 data, as well as any others that you've hooked up through APIs, through 
the integration levels that you get with Copilot Studio from a visual point of view. And what we're seeing from Microsoft is that this seems to be that Copilot work experience, just to throw an extra one in there. So if you found this video useful, please do like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you found it useful. If you think I've missed one or there's another one, please do say. Otherwise, I'll see you again on the value add soon.